Welcome back to Top 5 Scary. I'm your horrifying host, Kyle McWaters, and this week we're getting into some weird science. Crossbreeds. Robot insects from the future. Interspecies communicating with each other. What is happening around here? Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and like for some more of your weekly goosebumps. And let me know down in the comments below what you are creeped out by. You know, mine's the dark, always at 31 years old. I don't know. Anyway, here's the top five terrifying crossbreeding experiments that went wrong. Number five, Nanulac. Kicking this list off, we have a beast more terrifying than literally any other creature on this planet right now. Apparently, this thing is real. Yeah. The apex predator. The top of the food chain. Twice interbred. This thing is a killing machine. The grizzly polar bear hybrid. AKA the Groller Bear or the Pizzly Bear. Great names, great names. What do you like? I like the Pizzly Bear myself. It's the least aggressive. These two aggressive bears make up this rare hybrid that has occurred both in captivity and in the wild. So not only did they try this one in a lab, safe with test tubes, in nature this thing just evolved by itself and is just trucking around hunting as we speak. Yeah. That's horrifying. In 2006, the hybrid was confirmed by testing the DNA of a unique looking bear shot in the Northwest Territories on Banks Island in the Canadian Arctic. A hunter from Idaho reportedly shot a grizzly polar bear hybrid near Saks Harbor in April with his local guide. They had been hunting for polar bears and killed the animal believing it to be a normal find. Officials took interest in the creature after noticing that while it had thick white fur, it also had long razor sharp claws, a humped back, a shallow face, brown patches on its body and was almost twice the size, which are all traits of grizzly bears. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeehaw. DNA tests conducted by Wildlife Genetics International in British Columbia confirmed it was a hybrid with polar bear as a mother and a grizzly bear as a father. Yeah. Netflix campy horror, here we come. The number of confirmed hybrids has now risen to eight, all of them being children from the same female hybrid polar grizzly bear mother. There's only a couple of them. Yeah, thank God. Since the 2006 discovery, the hybrid has been referred to by several names, including Pizzly Bear and the Groller Bear, but Canadian wildlife officials have suggested calling the hybrid bear Nanolac, taken from the Inuit names for Polar Bear and Grizzly Bear. Yeah, that's a sick name. That's a way better name. Let's go with that name, 100%. Number four, the Kulakamba. The Kulakamba or Kulukamba is an apparent hybrid species of chimpanzee and gorilla hybrid found and reported in Africa in the early 19th century. Although no empirical evidence has been found to substantiate the existence of the creature more than once, the Kulakamba has been referenced in numerous times in some mid 19th century work and in some descriptive work from around 1860 to 1899 titled Explorations and Adventures in Equatorial Africa. The explorers refer to this unique ape hybrid as the Kulakamba based upon the description of words used by the First Nations people in the Ovenga River of West Africa. The people allegedly refer to the ape as Kulu because of its unique vocalization. Unlike the sounds and abilities of other apes, Kamba is a word meaning quote, to speak. Okay, that's terrifying. The local people upon finding this hybrid creature were saying that its name came from its ability to make sounds and talk unlike any other species. The Kulakamba is believed to be much larger with a flattened face, longer, larger skull, but more bipedal than a chimpanzee, meaning it walked on its legs much more like us. Although there has not been a documented sighting of the Kulakamba since 1881, in 1996, a picture of an unusual looking ape was taken by Peter Jenkins and Liza Gadsby at the Cameroon Zoo, showing a seemingly hybrid ape that fit all the descriptions of the Kulakamba, being supposedly that of a chimpanzee and gorilla hybrid. Could this be like a new form of sapien roaming our planet? Is this thing Bigfoot that the FBI is talking about? I don't know. What do you think? Number three, pythons. In the 1980s, a small number of pet Burmese pythons were released into Florida wildlife. Couple here, couple there, nothing crazy. Since then, these slithering snakes have started to wreak absolute havoc on wildlife and communities and have become something of a weird science project. A number of Burmese pythons running loose in the state of Florida are now officially a hybrid species, which could make them even more evolved than their other snake relatives. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey of the Everglades National Park analyzed skin and cell tissues from around 400 Burmese pythons that were captured in Florida between 2001 and 2012. The team wanted to learn more about the invasive species in order to better understand Florida's threat of the overgrowing population posed by wildlife and locals. Sure. The researchers expected to find only the pure genetic makeup of the Burmese python, coined the American alligator killer. 
it's quite the reputation. But according to the study, the number of interbred snakes with somewhat of a new genetic makeup started becoming more worrisome the more that they found. When two species come together, they have a unique set of generic traits and characteristics that they use for survival. This is made up of the environment around them. Indian rock pythons are smaller but much faster. Burmese pythons thrive in jungles and grassy marshes and are much, much bigger. Together, mixed with a little swap and spit, is this demon serpent. Yeah. The new and improved Floridian Jungle Croc Annihilator. Again, Q campy Netflix movie. Croc Killer 5. I don't know, or something like that. When researchers involved in the new study analyzed samples found in Florida, they discovered that some animals assumed to be purebred pythons were also carrying new DNA, making a new rock python. Yeah, that's awesome. Couple of guys let their pets out, and now there's snakes with double the abilities running around. Or slithering around, just by accident. This guy just rushed like a million years of evolution. Yeah. Thanks, Floretta. Number two, Beetlejuice. A living beetle computer hybrid with legs that can be fully controlled by humans has been created by researchers in Singapore. I feel like that should have been on every newspaper in like 2016. Like, did you hear about this? Cause like, I never did, you know? The beetle joins a long list of insects that have been turned into robots since the early 2000s. The others, of course, including hawk moths and cockroaches. None of those insects, however, had their walking speed, step frequency, and gait fully controlled by humans, making the beetle bot the first of its kind. Okay, this thing is terrifying. I've seen what Sophia does with the AI that is capable over at Hanson Robotics. This thing's gonna be the next bug terminator. Like, I feel like this is the prequel to Starship Troopers. Researchers apparently ran electrodes into the leg muscles in the beetle's first pair of legs, and then stimulated movement by running currents through each other specific leg, Dr. Octavius style. The giant flower beetle, or Messi Norina Torcata, was then controlled via wires mounted onto the insect by Dr. Hirotika Sato, an aerospace engineer, and his team from Neyang Technology University in Singapore, tracking the beetle's motion with a 3D motion capturing system. They were then able to make the beetle gallop and walk alternating legs. First off, this is a little cruel, but also pretty cool. I didn't even know that bugs had muscles in their legs. The hybrid might prove a useful step towards building robots for use in disaster zones, where they could be equipped with cameras or microphones and navigated through tiny cracks to search for humans trapped under rubble. Okay, I like this thing all of a sudden again. Yeah, this is good, this is good news. Blending technology with the animal kingdom. Ant-Man and Wasp style. I like it. Due to the beetle still being alive, of course, humans would be able to switch from controlling the beetle to letting it navigate on its own way. When the insect computer hybrid robot encounters an obstacle, the user can simply switch off the controller, allowing the neural control networks of the robot to overcome the obstacle. In doing so, the researchers can manipulate the different walking speeds, patterns, flying directions, and all other forms of the motion. Basically, it's playing PlayStation with a bug. And number one, killer bees. Speaking of more creepy crawlies, we have these nasty things. The African honeybee, AKA killer bee, is a hybrid produced originally by crossbreeding the East African honeybee with various of the European bees. First introduced in Brazil in 1956, 26 swarms escaped quarantine, and since then, this aggressive hybrid has spread throughout South America and North America by 1991. Yeah, that means before Pearl Jam was really going, there wasn't too many of these flying around. Once in a blue moon kind of deal. But time flies. Typically much more defensive than any other honeybee, these killer bees react faster and can chase a person a quarter of a mile. They kill about a thousand people each year and even kill cows and horses. Although there are 29 recognized subspecies of bee, this seems to be the most aggressive. Biochemists have tracked down the brain chemicals that make killer bees so ferocious. It's the compounds which seem to be present in higher levels than the much feared Africanized honeybee, which makes less aggressive bees turn more fierce. That means that it can turn other insects into a more aggressive version of themselves. Honeybees are incredibly territorial, fighting to the death to defend their hive with multiple painful stings, but killer bees, the even crazier hybrids of the relatively docile strain, are more aggressive. Yeah, way more aggressive. Apparently these things are also really, really smart. Like, fish and bees are now able to communicate to each other. Do you know that? In a recent experiment done in Austria in 2019, using a robot translator, engineers from Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and four other universities are able to make the species able to transmit signals back and forth to each other, subsequently resulting in them demonstrating coordinated decisions. Yeah, Google it. Apparently these bees are so smart, they can signal underwater to fish. Yeah, we might not even need the controller for the bugs soon enough. Just when I thought the animal kingdom couldn't get even scarier, bees and fish are texting each other. 
yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Five terrifying crossbreed hybrids that are hopefully not coming to a city near you. Hybrid bears just trucking through the streets, killer bees remote controlled by world leaders. Who knows what's next? I've been Kyle McWaters. As always, keep the lights on, lock all the doors, and until next time, stay spooky, everybody.